What is up guys? I'm finally back from the salt flats. It's like 3.50 um, in the morning if it wants to focus. Um, but that was fun. I wanted to film like a cool little intro for you guys um, before getting into the, the meat of the discussion. Right. So how did I make my first $100 drop shipping on a shop? <laughs> deep into some of my videos you guys will know that I I was I was broke guys okay so I I didn't have the 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 bandwidth like money wise to, to buy a bunch of shoutouts or even to like invest like even $500 into Facebook ads like I didn't have that money I was literally on summer break from college and I was like yo I, I don't want to stay in college and I needed an excuse to drop like my parents wouldn't let me drop out just because I want to drop out um, and I knew that as well um, so I had to make something happen right so I, ha I had to make money um, and basically what I did guys is so Instagram influencers were, were a really really lucrative thing at the time right so this was back in 2016 and most people one like they didn't realize the the power of an Instagram influencer and two most people weren't even using them and three Facebook um, well, Facebook sponsored posts were, were like not even around back then, um, but Instagram's algorithm was chronological. So, if so, influencers' house like worked really, really well in terms of like you know if someone actually posted, um, you wouldn't see like nowadays it, you see an Instagram post based off of Facebook's algorithm determining what you, they think you'll be most interested in. Right back then, because it's chronological, just whatever's most recent you see first. Right, so if you refresh your Instagram, whatever's posted, then you'll see as you scroll down, it gets further and further and further. Um, and that 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 was that was like the the, the algorithm, right? Um, and it was fairly fairly easy to do. Like you just find a good influencer, you find a solid influencer with a lot of followers, you can use them um, and use their sort of audience, right? Because I didn't have an audience, I don't, I didn't have a brand. Um, so again, I was just leveraging their audience, buying um, shoutouts and whatnot. But I didn't have money to buy shoutouts in in this case, in this like starting phase, right, of dropshipping. So what I did was I sent out an email to over, I think. Probably. And it was over 50, but I want to say over 60, I'm just say over 50. So I sent an email out to over 50 influencers, at, like literally telling them like, hey, I don't have money right now to invest um, like in shoutouts up front, but I'm willing to give you a percent. Okay, good. This, this is where I went wrong too. So I, again, I want you to learn from, from my mistakes, but I gave them, I said I'd give them a percent of revenue I generated in my store because I was that desperate for sales. I was just that hungry to just like get some money through the door. Um, and so again, I sent out an email to over 50 influencers and I said, hey, I'll give you a percent of revenue because I wanted to make this deal sound really lucrative to them. So I even stressed it like percent of revenue, not profit, but revenue of all the sales that my store generates, okay? If you're willing to actually do shout outs up front so I don't have to spend money on shout outs, right? Um, and then from there, it's sort of like a win-win where you know they're, they're getting money based off the entire store's revenue generation and I don't have to spend any marketing you know, budget up front. I'm just basically managing the store, having them do it, and then I can use the profits and actually buy shout outs and invest shoutouts elsewhere, okay? That was actually one of the reasons why I actually shut down my store eventually and got rid of it and gave it to someone else is because that, you know, I, I had this, this, this contract with this influencer where I had to give a percent of revenue and I didn't want to do that anymore, but I knew that I, like, again, with dropshipping, it's a very rinse and repeat cycle. I knew that I could launch another store, sell similar products, which create a brand, do custom content, do all that kind of stuff, and make just as much money as, like, because now I had the funds to, to invest in marketing, okay? But, again, so I sent out 50 emails, okay? No one, no one even responded. I got one response from someone. Um, well, no one responded or they responded with a no, but I got one response from someone that said that they were willing and they, like, like they were interested and they wanted to know more okay so I was like oh my gosh this is my chance <laughs> your boys gotta make it happen um, so we went back and forth this influencer was based in Russia he had a bunch of fashion pages though um, he had I think four or five pages totaling around let's say four to six million followers and after you know talking back and forth and whatnot he finally agreed to it and I was giving him 20, it was either 15 or 20 percent of all the revenue my store generated okay guys which is a lot okay so if you're drop shipping that that eats into your margins but that was a learning experience for me because I had to make better margins a lot of people drop shipping now like you might be one of them your margins might not be that good and for me starting off like I had to have good margins to even make this work okay so all my margins were anywhere between 40 and 60 40 and 70 percent on my products okay guys now this is also where because I was branding and using custom content I could leverage that and actually charge more and raise my prices okay so that that's again just another another tip for you guys um, 
in terms of just like pricing and margins and whatnot. But again, he agreed to that. Okay, so we signed a contract, and that's really like that's how I eventually made my first hundred dollars in sales because the first night we launched the store, guys, I woke up because again he was in Russia, so he was posting in his time zone. Um, but I woke up to over two thousand dollars in orders, guys. Like I. I, I swear I pissed the bed like I woke up and I was like, oh my god Like this is crazy ran downstairs called my mom. She was at work and was like, I'm I'm over the school like <laughs> She didn't let me drop out away, but I like that's how excited I was okay But that's what led to me making my first hundred dollar day is you know reaching out to the influencer Realizing like like realizing myself like okay. I was broke. I can't afford marketing. I can't afford shout outs um, I suck at Facebook ads like at the time guys. I didn't know too much about Facebook ads Okay, so I didn't want to just dump a money uh, like dump a lot of money into that and I like I wasn't like when I first started I wasn't plugged into these communities I wasn't you know watching a bunch of YouTube videos. There weren't even that many YouTube videos on it at that time um, So for me, it was very much of like a, a learn, you know mess up fuck up and then kind of like restart kind of kind of deal um, But that's what made me get my first hundred dollars in sales guys And you know ultimately like I guess that that's certainly how I got my first two thousand dollars in sales just because like that first day right was was the day we actually launched the contract, or launched, not launched, but launched the store um, after signing the contract. And then, you know, about two or three weeks later, um, I had all the custom content up, I had the website ready to go, everything was ready to go, and then we launched, right? I didn't want to rush the launch of the, my website, I didn't want to rush, rush the launch of my brand, um, all that kind of stuff, guys. I grew the Instagram organically to 30,000 followers within a month. Um, again, that's when the, the algorithm was a bit different. Um, but yeah, guys, that's that's just a quick video, just like how, how I actually did that. And again, the contract, so I, I want to do this like, for you guys as well, because I, I really do just want to help you guys get started. And again, um, I wouldn't advocate to go this method now, just because there are a lot of influencers. Like, if you're a beginner, right? This is the only reason I say this, because if you're a beginner, you probably don't know the best ways to to kind of vet uh, an influencer, right, and make sure that they're legit. So, like, I wouldn't tell a beginner to like, hey, here's a contract. Um, go find a bunch of influencers, sign it, and give them a percent of your store for sales and whatnot. Um, just because then you're losing, you know, equity in in your own project. But again, I'll have the contract that I used. Okay, a little bit edited, right? So it's more fresh and up to date. But I'll have that link down below for free, completely free for you guys, just to help you guys out. But again, guys, I want you to be like to make sure you know how to vet Instagram influencers. I don't want you just taking this contract, downloading it, and then emailing a bunch of um, influencers just like that you randomly find and like don't know if they have fake followers, fake engagement, anything like that. Um, like this is for your own good guys, but I do want that linked down below just to help you guys out and um, You know at least give you guys, you know a chance to, to start the way that I did um, And get you guys off your feet and hitting the ground running. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoy the video Make sure to leave a like drop a comment. I respond to everybody's comments and don't forget to subscribe guys I will see you guys in the next video the salt flats were crazy we should be in Arizona by the time you're watching this um, this video and I'll see you guys later course links and everything else is linked down below same with presets for content and a bunch of other fun stuff like the free Facebook group and everything so I'll see you guys there see you tomorrow later